Welcome back to This Cat's Life, soon to be another name. We're going to come up with a different name for this channel. We're doing a little transition. Used to be This Cat's Life, but now we've got our other cat back. Long story on that, we'll tell you a little more about what's going on with that. Kixie and I and Yessie were traveling around the U.S. in the RV. Yeah. And we took Kixie, we were going to take Penny as well, but the two cats didn't get along and we didn't have enough time to get them trained to like each other. And we tried it in the RV, but it was just too small of a space to separate them and do the right thing to get them to get adjusted. We are going to reintroduce them and we're going to use Cat Daddy. I think that's his name on YouTube. We'll put a link down in the description or up in the box or something here to show you his channel. And we're going to follow one of his videos and we'll put a link to that video as well and see how we can get them adjusted now that we have more room to keep them isolated and slowly introduce them. So our first step was to get each cat adjusted to the house and to a room first so that they would feel comfortable. The next step, I believe, is to start setting a schedule on feeding because we free feed both of the cats. Mm -hmm. We do. So they, they're used to just eating whenever. But the main part of his plan is, is the other side of the door feeding ritual is start creating a positive association. And that positive association is food where they don't see each other, but they smell each other. And you associate that with a positive being the food. Mm -hmm. So as they're eating, they smell each other. So they associate each other's scent with a positive thing. It's like, oh, OK, it's food. So it's a good thing. But we don't have them on a schedule, so they just they don't know when when their food time is. So we got to get them adjusted to that. So that'll be week two. And also during week two, we're going to do site swapping. And if you watch his video, you'll see that they both have their base camp, yeah, which that's is what he called it. Yeah, base each camp. each room is the each, each one's base camp. They have their litter box, their water, their food. They sleep there. So we can do site swapping where we don't let them see each other yet, but we put one in one room and in the other room. So they switch sites, spend a little time in there every day. So we're going to do that in week two, get them on a feeding schedule, and then we'll go into the rest of it later. I think the other thing was that we couldn't take Penny because every time she's in a car, <laughs> she cries. So taking her to the vet, um, she cries and cries and cries. and that was just not gonna be fun. She doesn't like to travel as much, yeah. which most cats don't. Right. But now that we're sitting still, she's adapted really quick to the house. I mean, she's comfortable, Kixie's comfortable in the house. Yeah. Um, they've both been playing, and the good thing is too that they, they've smelt each other, because we've let them into the common, the living room, kitchen area, mm -hmm. each by theirself at one at a time, yeah. so they don't have to be stuck in the room and they smell each other and they just they seem fine they haven't been hissing or growling or acting weird so yeah. that's a positive that they are able to share their scent and not get upset and the thing is Kixie's 10 years old and Penny's yeah. she's five or six five or six so she's about half the age of Kixie so there's an age difference there's an age there. difference and Kixie Energy. is more shy she she's more like calm and she doesn't like to be around other animals she never mm -hmm. has been from a kitten I raised her from a kitten and she's been the only cat. Penny, Penny. has been around dogs a little bit. A little bit and a lot, and a of, lot of people because yeah. she's had more people at her her family's house come in and and while Penny was staying with her mom while we traveled. There was always there people was, coming in and out, so she's more social. She's more social and she and she's Kixie doesn't like strangers petting her where Penny will run up to somebody and be like, Hey, you know, give me some petting. <laughs> yeah. So they have different different personalities mm -hmm. and and Penny's a lot curious where, like, if we... It did if introduce she, them. Yeah, Penny will probably, like, jump right into it and be like, hey, what's up? And Kixie, well, it's more very shy. And that's what happened when we did it at the house before we left RVing when we were trying to get them together. Mm -hmm. Kixie, of course, lived there. Penny was visiting, but Penny instantly, like, started running towards Kixie, like, yeah. out of curiosity, wanting to play. I don't think she was trying to hurt her. But Kixie took that as an aggression because she didn't know what to She was like, what are you doing? And she would take off running and hiss at her and stuff. And then Penny will chase her. And then she chased her more <laughs> because of that, because yeah. it excited her. It's like, oh, okay, we want to play. Yeah. Where Kixie didn't understand that. So mm -hmm. their personalities were different. But I think with this method, the way he's having them introduced slowly by scent, 
they don't even see each other. So actually, they don't even know each other's here right now, except for the smell. They haven't seen each other. No. So we'll take you along on our journey and see how it works for us. And hopefully it'll work for you if you're needing to do something like this. And like I say, this isn't our idea. This We're following his plan. And so we want to give credit to him as far right. as coming up. We didn't come up with this. We're no, just taking we're... you through and showing you how it works for us. Stay tuned. And we're going to try to come up with a different name for the channel. And thank you to the subscribers that have been following Kixie's journey. We're going to try to continue this on and make this more of a dual cat channel yeah. and more cat uh, reviews possibly on products and as far as their lifestyle and getting them to come together and mm. like each other. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Anyways, we'll cut this video off here. I know it's kind of running long and we'll show you some of the progress on the next video and get into more of the steps. We'll show you our progress with those steps. So we'll see you later.